Hey, Boo Kids, welcome back to another amazing Sunday. Miss Jam here, and I'm here with my friend, Miss Maddie. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good, Miss Jam. I'm so excited to be here in our carnival gear. That's right, Boo Kids. We're here. We're having fun. So grateful for another Sunday. Yeah. I think, I don't think I'm ready. No. I think I need a warm up. Yeah. Like, I think we need to do some stretches, some exercises to get us going. Do you want to do that, Boo Kids? I think let's do I it. I think we should. Can you lead us? Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's stretch our arms really quick. Let's go ahead and stretch the other one. Maybe we should start to jog in place. Okay. Get our legs Ooh, I think going. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Keep jogging. What? Pepe! Oh my <laughs> goodness. We ran so much wow. that Pepe joined us. Hi, Pepe. I'm so glad that Pepe is here. That means it's time for us to go over our Boo Kids values. So, Let's go over it. Are you ready, Boo Kids, for us to go over our Boo Kids values? Starting off with Boo Kid value number one, listening ears. I will listen twice as much as I speak. That's right. Boo Kid value number two, kind mouth. I will use my words to honor others and speak life. That's right. We speak life here in Boo Kids. Pepe's great at that. All right. Boo Kid value number three, helping hands. I will use my hands for helping and sharing. Boo Kid value number four, humble heart. I will think of others before myself. I love that, Miss Maddie. And then Boo Kid value number five, positive Positive. attitude. That's right. I will always choose joy. joy. That's right. So wherever you are, whether at Silver Spot watching this or at home, let's make sure we are using our Boo Kids values. But we want to encourage them today, right? Yeah, of course. Boo Kids, I think we should take some time to talk about our kind mouths. We can say a lot of things, whether we're at home, whether we're at school, whether we're here in church. And I think it's really important that we use our words to be nice to others, yeah. to be kind, to say please, to say thank you, to say I love you to our friends and our family. Just as we can be kind to others, Let's use this through our words. Let's hold the door. Let's be kind through our actions. Miss Jam, do you think you could pray for us? Yes, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this amazing Sunday. I thank you for all of our heroes and our legends. I pray that you will meet us right where we are. We love you. And in Jesus' name, all of our boo kids say, Amen. Amen. Well, now it is time for us to worship. So I want you standing up to your feet and let's get ready to worship. It is going to be so much fun. We love you.
job worshiping and having fun, heroes. You all are crushing it during worship time. But now it is time for our memory verse. And this month, our memory verse comes from Isaiah 41.10. And I love this memory verse because it's just reminding us that we don't have to be afraid that God is always with us. And this month, we are going to be singing our memory verse together. So first, I'm going to do it. Then I'm going to break it down and break down all the motions. And then we're going to sing it and do it together. So heroes, are you ready? Mm, okay. Now I think you're ready. So Isaiah 41.10. So do not be afraid, I am with you. Do not be terrified, I am your God. I will make you strong and help you, Isaiah 41.10. Great job. Okay, so now I'm going to break it down. So I want you to stand up to your feet and I want you to do it with me. All right, heroes? Okay, so, so do not, so you're going to cross your arms, so do not be afraid. And you're going to cover your eyes like you're afraid of something. So we're going to do it again. So do not be afraid. And then you're going to cross your arms right here. I am with you. Then we're going to cross our hands again. Do not be terrified. You're going to cover your eyes again. And then you're going to put your arms up. I am your God. So we're going to bring it back. So do not be afraid. I am with you. Do not be terrified. I am your God. Okay, here goes the next part. I will make you strong. I want to see all your muscles. I will make you strong. And then you're going to go like this and help you. And then we're going to say Isaiah 41 10. So again, I'm going to break it down. So do not be afraid. I am with you you. Do not be terrified. I am your God. I will make you strong and help you. Isaiah 41.10. Great job. So now we're going to do it together. We're going to say it loud. We're going to do it with all the motions and we're going to sing. So standing on your feet, I'm going to count to three and we are going to do it together, heroes. Okay. One, two, three. So do not be afraid, I am with you. Do not be terrified, I am your God. I will make you strong and help you, Isaiah 41.10. Great job, heroes. Now it is time for our lesson. I'll see you later. Welcome back to our VU Kids lesson. I'm so excited to see all of you. Thank you for worshiping with us. That was so much fun. I'm Miss Maddie and I'm here with Miss Lauren. We've had a great day so far. I think before we get ready into our lesson, we should take some time to get ready and get our bodies moving. Yeah, Miss Maddie, I think that's a great idea. How about we do a little stretch together? I wanna see you wiggle your fingers. All right, now take your arms way out, stretch. Ooh, good job, and bring it to the front. Yeah, keep those fingers wiggling. Let's go up. Ooh, yeah, that's a good stretch. Just wiggle out your body a little bit. Good job. We're so excited to see you for our carnival theme today. We're having a good day, Miss Maddie. Yes, we are heroes. And we're learning about our special Bible hero of the month. Heroes, do you remember who our Bible hero is this month? I'm so excited. I really like him. Do you remember his name? It starts with a J. <gasps> It's Joseph. Joseph. Do you think that we can all say Joseph together on the count of three? Ready? One, two, three. Joseph. Joseph. Good job. Great heroes. So while we're learning about Joseph this month, we learn how through Joseph, God is always with us. God is with us no matter what, wherever we are, wherever we go. And we see that through Joseph's life. It's pretty incredible. That's right. We learned through Joseph that God is 
always with us. But before we get started on our lesson, Miss Maddie, what do you think we should put on our listening ears? That's right, heroes, listening ears, here we go. Great job. You guys probably remember from last week that Joseph had many brothers and he was the favorite of all his brothers. And Joseph had a very special dream where all of his brothers were bowing down to him. And that made Joseph's brothers very angry. Can you guys show me your angry faces? Good job. That made them very angry. So they decided to send Joseph far away from his home to a land called Egypt. Wow, I can't imagine being sent away from my home. That sounds so scary. And while Joseph was in Egypt, he worked for a, nan, a man named Potiphar. That's a really silly name, Miss Lauren. I think we should practice that, heroes. Let's say it together. Potiphar. Potiphar. Great job. Great job, heroes. Potiphar is who Joseph worked for in Egypt. That's right. And Potiphar saw something very special about Joseph. He saw that God was always with Joseph. So Potiphar decided to put Joseph in charge of many, many things in his house. That's right. Potiphar saw how much of an incredible person Joseph was because he saw that God was always with him. But Potiphar's wife got really jealous and she started to spread these horrible lies about Joseph. That's right. Potiphar's wife told a bunch of lies about Joseph and Potiphar wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So unfortunately, Potiphar felt like he could no longer trust Joseph and he decided to send Joseph away to jail. Oh my goodness. When Joseph was in jail, we still saw that God was always with him, even when he was in jail. And when he was in jail, Joseph, wait, I think we're gonna have to come back next week to learn about something that happened to Joseph while he was in jail. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, Miss Maddie. We should make them wait until next week to hear all about what happens to Joseph while he's in jail. But good thing we know that God is always with Joseph. He does not leave him. And God is always with us too. So I think that we should all say together, God is always with me. Do you think that you can say it too? Yes. Awesome. Okay. On the count of three, one, two, three. God God is is always always with with me. Good job, heroes. We're so proud of you. Before we go, Miss Maddie, do you think we can pray together? Yes, I'd love to. Heroes, let's pray. God, thank you so much for being with us always, God. You're with us here. You're with us in our homes. You're with our families. You're with us when we're at school. God, we thank you so much for being with us. We love you and all the heroes said, Amen. Thank you so much for being with us today, heroes. We're really excited because later today, we have Kids Crew at 5 p.m. And we are so excited to see you there. You can also check out our VU Kids Facebook page for all of our lesson videos, our memory verse, our worship videos. You can find it all there. So until next week, We love you. We'll see you then. Bye, heroes.